And a statewide tornado safety drill is scheduled for this morning. So if you hear sirens around 9, it is, it is only a test. The drill is part of Severe Weather Awareness Month and will take place at 9.07 this morning. The National Weather Service, the Kentucky Weather Preparedness Committee, and the Kentucky Broadcasters Association will send a test message that will activate weather radios and TV and radio alert systems. You're also encouraged to practice your own tornado drills today. First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, you might think it's difficult to think about tornadoes and tornado safety when there's snow and ice on the ground, but it is that time of the year, despite what you're seeing outside right now. So this is the time of the year, the time of uh, March, when we all get together and try to prepare you for, you know, knowing the weather before it knows you and being prepared for those sort of things. As you saw only a couple of weeks ago, Tornadoes can happen any time of the year, so can severe weather, so we want you to pay attention to that drill that happens this morning. In the meantime, we've got uh, some issues out there this morning. Even though there's nothing showing up on First Alert Live, not the radar, there's a lot of fog, and you got to be careful of that this morning. We're at 28 degrees. Let's take a look outside, and this is from the... Uh, Traffic cam, I-65 at mile marker 17, southern Warren County, and we're looking uh, going north on 65, and you can see the fog and how thick it is, and still good ice and snow on the sides here of the interstate, the parkways, even the main roads, so you've got to use extra caution this morning. Even all the way down into Tennessee, it's a travel nightmare in some cases because of the snow and the ice. Then you add the low visibility with the fog, and because we're below freezing, some of this fog can freeze on a bridge or overpass or even the pavement and cause some icy spots. So there could be a rash of accidents this morning if people are not paying attention. Therefore, a freezing fog advisory is in effect until 8 o'clock this morning. All of Middle Tennessee and Western Kentucky does not include the Bowling Green area, but I can caution you that even though our counties are not painted in here, we've got fog, we have low visibility, and because we are below freezing, that could be an issue if you're driving this morning. In fact, here's proof of the temperatures from the Kentucky Mesonet Network. We're in the low to mid-20s. Everybody is below freezing this morning, so that means any of that fog that's out there could freeze on the roadways and cause some icing. Here is a look from the uh, weather cam. This is our AAA systems weather cam. It's sleep in and you can't even see exit 22 at I-65. Normally you'd see the interstate, you'd see the uh, Greenwood exit. You can't see it. That's It's that thick out there this morning. So please exercise caution. 28 current temperature reading with a very light northeast wind. 31 was our high yesterday, 56 where we should be. We picked up a trace of precipitation for the past 24 hours. Franklin, you're seeing some of that fog this morning on your AAA systems weather cam. You're at 27 in Simpson County. Some fog there in Grayson County, too. It looks like it may be getting to lift just a little bit uh, down here in the city of Litchfield. It's a little bit better visibility, and some of the snow and ice did melt yesterday, but not all of it. 23 is your temperature, and there is Hart County, Munfordville. You have better visibility than pretty much everybody else around the area. You're at 26 degrees. 28 at the airport. Teens and 20s to the north, 30s to the south. That 28 degrees at the airport is 15 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this hour. Cloud cover, well, that kept us from getting up to the mid 30s, which we were hoping for yesterday to really do a number on the snow and ice that's around the area. But evidence of warmer air is the fog that you're seeing this morning. That means there's a warm air layer going over the cold, icy, snowy ground, that snowpack, and that's what's causing the fog over southern Kentucky and middle Tennessee this morning. But high pressure is really in control of our weather and will be for the next few days, even though there's going to be these disturbances that kind of run through the Gulf of Mexico. Each one, like yesterday, will bring us some cloud cover mixing with the sunshine, but gradually, slowly, we're going to crank up the temperatures here in the coming days. It looks good for us, quiet weather for us. This disturbance is going to edge parts of East Tennessee, Southeastern Kentucky as we get into Friday, but I don't think it's going to bring us anything here. So after we get through the morning fog, becoming partly sunny warmer today at 44, then down to 27 tonight under a partly cloudy sky. Tomorrow we'll make it back to 48 with a mix of sun and clouds all the way to 57 on Friday as a warm front. 
moves out of the plains and into the Ohio Valley. 55 on Saturday, there's a slight chance of a rain or a wet snow shower Saturday night. Sunday, we spring forward ahead one hour. Daylight saving time begins. We'll see a high of 53 and check out those 60s for Monday and Tuesday with just a slight chance of a rain shower.